I lost close to 15 pounds in my first two or three months in America. Believe it or not, this is a body of a 29 year old. My body couldn't break down the meat in America. Bread, I couldn't eat bread. I literally had to drive maybe 45 minutes to an hour to eat my vegetables. Let alone sugar. I still don't drink juice. And then the alcohol. I kept on saying to my sister, what do they put in alcohol? This is not regular alcohol. And I'm like, why am I getting so addicted to this stuff? skincare routine when i'm dealing with a flare-up this is the worst flare-up i've ever gone through it's been like this for three days my hands are so swollen like i can't even take my ring off and they're super flaky and it's just all over my body i'm trying not to cry <laughs> let's just get ready i take a wet muslin cloth with filtered water. I feel like that always helps. And I just kind of gently just rub my face down. It feels really good because it's kind of cold. Now I take this thermal water. Then I go in with this true botanical oil that I always use also in my regular routine. Take my usual moisturizer and put a really good amount on it and just rub it in. I kind of get my ears with it as well because they're so red and so swollen. On any really dry spots, I just put a little bit of Vaseline just to lock in all that moisture. Yeah, I go in with this lotion and some glycerin and just slather my body in it and then put some pajama. I'm gonna just not make it rub off on stuff i usually do it at night for my hands i go in with this i feel like it burns when you put it on straight away but then the burn kind of goes away i hope that this helps anyone that's going through anything similar like this i lost close to 15 pounds in my first two or three months in america believe it or not this is a body of a 29 year old my body couldn't break down the meat in america bread i couldn't eat bread i literally had to drive maybe 45 minutes to an hour to eat my vegetables let alone sugar i still don't drink juice and then the alcohol i kept on saying to my sister what do they put in alcohol this is not regular alcohol and i'm like why am i getting so addicted to this stuff i don't even want to talk about the size of the bananas so being a non-american or someone who's an immigrant who wasn't born and raised in america the food here is not easy to deal with especially coming from a country where most of the food is organic we literally have food in our backyard corn avocado banana mango trees peach trees we literally have cows at the back of our yard not my yard but my grandmother's hot yard we grow a lot of our food so here a lot of the food has a lot of editors because they want food to grow faster to be sold faster to make more money now nor smith has been the topic for a long long time but baby if it takes you Three hours to make cheese or however long it makes, takes for you to make cheese at your house. I say do it. I say do it. In, in all honesty, even now, I have forced myself to adjust to certain food. But I also know, in forcing myself, I always go through stuff. I went to South Africa last year, end of last year. When I say the first two weeks, I was, I can't even say this, but I was, my bowels were just moving words and when i feel like i flushed everything out that was in my system from american food my skin glowed i slept better i was just like at my peak energetically and i told my mom you know what i've been doing something worse than eating american food i have been eating american food in restaurants and that's worse my mom was like okay when you get back just you know circle back to cooking and i can literally see the difference in my skin in my energy in my body so let's stop judging people for taking care of themselves because Nora Smith has become the enemy of the United States because she, she does things from scratch. If I had time and if I, I could, I'd do everything she's doing. I, it's just, I need to be in the kitchen for a certain amount of time. If I'm, longer, if I'm in the kitchen longer than 45 minutes, I start to question my sanity. What am I doing here? I remember one time, it's in South Africa, by the way, like 
direct water from underground right um has salt no so um i remember being in captain park in johannesburg and my skin and i used to, this salt water to bath as a shower because they don't use tap water because tap water is like cleaned like they remove this salt right so this um water that you get underground that you do yourself it's it's really like from the earth it's not good if you have sensitive skin like mine so i remember having rushes all over my body that's example number one example number two i remember going to northwest they have issues with waters as well so um the drinking was just similar so the water in captain park and in northwest they like had a similar problem at least in captain park i could like drink the water but in northwest it was bad like i could not drink it like every, like it was just too salty like it just weird weird water and that's like two examples that i'm gonna give that just shows i was ex oh another third one mcdonald's i'm not allowed to eat fast food i'm gonna get sores in my mouth i'm gonna get sores all over my body i remember one time I was introduced to nuggets and I was like addicted to the stuff. And then I started eating them and then my body was could not break down the food. And I was like, oh my God. So um, I stopped and then I stopped getting the sores inside my mouth because yeah, my body wants to eat home cooked meal. I have to, I have no flipping toys. You know, I use um, eating, outing food as a treat. The same way you would use to, the same way you would use, you know, treats to spoil yourself. I treat them like that. So I'm imagining myself in the States with everything going on. Like, I don't think I would survive because I remember also having this other um, acquaintance of mine was telling me about how they get sick constantly, how they, their body is just in agony and they're constantly their moods are up and down and there's just something weird going on with her and i'm thinking looking at these videos and i'm like oh my god it could could it be what she told me about the food in america and listening to this woman i'm like oh my god it could be the food as well so i'm very sensitive so i'll probably be like nara smith in america do my own stuff because even when we look at black not black people but american people they get big in a weird way they grow too fast and i'm like oh my god are they experimenting on these people and i also remember hearing cardi b talk about the chicken she doesn't eat kfc anymore because they they just just crap you know she went to Colombia and she bought kfc and it was just delicious it was fresh and she came back to the states and ordered and then she remembered why she didn't so i'm like the things they put in there i feel like america treats its own people like experiments i'm gonna end it there i'm gonna end it i'm gonna talk about it one day when i'm uploading my how much i made on tiktok i mean youtube i'm gonna get into detail with the stuff and the challenges i came across with america in general because my audience is mostly american so hmm, anyways let's continue with another topic so i was i was surprised when she was telling me this she was telling me you know my body just like she's saying cannot break down the food and i was like what she was like girl it's tough here you have to do everything by yourself if not you're gonna get sick literally 